around the Aaron Cook. And today we're celebrating. We're having a celebration of life, of Goldie's life. My friend, my goldfish. I'm worried about Goldie. She keeps getting fatter. I don't know what her problem is. You know, it could be a pregnancy. Pregnancy. I became worried that it wasn't a pregnancy. I thought I might have jumped to the wrong conclusion. I looked into her eyes and I felt maybe she was in pain. I thought maybe she was sick. Her body just seemed to be way too bloated. I saw her scales and they appeared to look like pine cones. They were kind of bulging out. I got in touch with Dr. Rich, pet doctor from Australia. He knew far too well what this problem could be. There's things that can go wrong with goldfish, he told me. In this particular case, we discussed it must be dropsy. Dr. Rich is very kind and he recommended a medicine for it. I had assistance to place this medicine in the tank at the appropriate dose. I went online and I found out this is almost always a fatal disease. It was appearing there would be no hope for Goldie. Sadly, within 24 hours of applying the medicine, Goldie died. I was very heartbroken and I couldn't believe it. She had been a part of my life for quite some time. We had gone all over Santa Barbara making great recipes and having such a good time together. I can't believe I got this close to a goldfish. She was my friend. We talked about all kinds of things together, especially love and finding love. Goldie understood me and I understood Goldie. We kept looking for a good catch in that big sea. I needed a way to send her off to heaven. I knew she was not going to be going down a toilet bowl. That's where many goldfish have gone before her. Not on my watch. So I went to a very beautiful place in nature. I decided to create a tomb for her. It was placed near a beautiful bush. I stacked up bricks. I created a little coffin for her and I wrapped her up in a burial shroud. And I placed her in this tomb with a very heavy rock in the front of the tomb. I felt this burial tomb of Goldie's would give me solace in later days. Then I forgot, I had a hamburger pin and I felt she should be buried with the hamburger pin. Goldie, I have brought hamburger for you to rest in peace forever. I'm going to put him in with you. Goldie, where are you? Oh man, Goldie, where are you? Goldie, oh no, Goldie's missing. Could somebody have taken her from her tomb? I see her imprint on her burial shroud. This could be divine. I think Goldie has risen from the dead. Fish have fished in her life. We can all take comfort. Goldie has risen. This is a sign. I miss Goldie so much. Flammable material. 
piles in a bunch of wood and crap from the backyard. And you pile it up. And you look around the beach, you know, there's a lot of kids here, and fire always seems to attract kids. I cannot be sued for this fire. They may not understand the Viking funeral. They're so young, they haven't learned that in school yet. So clip up your branches so they fit neatly. You need to place them squarely on your raft because Goldie's got to fit in that. She can't fall out before she's burned. But you know, she's not in there, remember that. So make her little nest. She's got to go in there. You know, her spirit's there, I know that for sure. I have brought the ingredients for this recipe, which includes lighter fluid, a fire extinguisher, and waterproof matches. Hi guys. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I have a little goldfish that died. Okay. So I'm having a little send off here. Uh -huh. um, so are we lighting it on fire? I wanted to. Yeah. We were gonna light it on fire yeah. and then without anybody around. Uh-huh. The only issue is that it's extremely windy. So the wind could be a factor. Yeah, the wind is a major factor and yeah, I mean I'm not sure. I guess obviously it would go out. I don't even know if it's gonna stay lit. So um, what were you planning on lighting? Is I was gonna put this on top of that. Oh, but okay. I will stand with it in shallow water as it's burning there. Um let me just uh, call it in and see what my Okay, thanks. Goldie, Goldie, I feel you're so near me. I feel that you're hovering here. I feel that you're trying to give me solace even in your death. I believe you've ascended to heaven. I believe you're in a better place. I believe you have love up there in heaven. You know, I believe Dottie is your sister up there. I believe Dottie and you are now together. Please say hi to Dottie for me. You have been incredible to me over this time. It's been a year that we've been dear close friends, and that year I will always treasure. Hi. Hello. Uh, and my goldfish died. So that's what I was gonna was gonna do was stand with this in the water, put the lighter fluid on this, light it up. I'm sorry, we cannot have you do that. Okay. No chemicals, no flammables, no fire even allowed on the beach anywhere. So I'm so sorry. I, like none of that can actually take place on the beach or especially in the water. So I cannot do that here. You cannot do that here. I cannot have that kind of memorial service for my goldfish on the safest beach of America, which would be Carpinteria Beach. Is that, is that? I that cannot, is correct. Well, that might be why it's the safest beach in the world. It's that because is you true. are here telling people the rules. It's true. Well, I'm okay to follow the rules because I believe in an orderly society. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for talking to me. I very much appreciate your kindness. Okay. I will go take my toxic material mess somewhere else. Thank you. <laughs> but not at your beautiful beach. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. You good too. Work, Bye. Rebecca. Bye. We're not listening to her. <laughs> she doesn't know what it is. I don't care. It's a public place. I did not realize the toxicity of this, you know, Viking fire. You know, it is something that's quite traditional. I'm just gonna pack up and go home. I need to think of another plan. This one apparently is not a very safe one. alternative plans. So I got a steel pan to put my raft in. Now I'm placing my wood on top and more flammable material. And you douse it with your lighter fluid thoroughly. And then you add more when you think you've done enough, just in case. And to that, we place Goldie's coffin. A little more lighter fluid, that should help. and place her flowers on top for Goldie. I think she'd like that. And for safety purposes, rinse your hands in water because you may have gotten lighter fluid on your fingers. And then strike a match. And light it on fire. Oh my God. Ah, ah, it's hot. Eh. See you in the next life, Goldie. Ha. It could be sooner than later with these flames. Bye, Goldie. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I'm 
I'm visualizing her going out to sea right now. This just seems like the most appropriate way to say goodbye to Goldie. If it wasn't for that mean lifeguard. You cannot do that. She had no heart. It's true. You know, she just didn't understand. This was a very meaningful ceremony for me. But that's life. Not everybody is on the same page as you. You know what I mean? Kisses, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Goldie.